Hello and welcome back to Drama Investigator. Jeffree Star goes off yet again, spilling more tea, updating us all and telling us everything that's going on with his robbers and the $2.5 million worth of cosmetics that was stolen from his warehouse. He's also recently exposed Burlington, who was selling some of his stolen cosmetics allegedly, and some of those cosmetics that were sold were in fact expired, which can be very dangerous to put on your face. Time for a hit, because bitch, tomorrow morning, game on. <laughs> Good morning to everybody but Burlington. Hi, how are ya? Um, last night was eventful, girl. There are so many questions and people waking up today like, girl, Burlington gonna get a lawsuit? Oh, baby, they're catching one, that's for sure. Um, <sighs> I want to make one thing clear. The doll parts that are being illegally sold in Burlington are expired. Now, I said something about the shade label on Twitter and people a little like, girl... Those are my old shade labels. As we started to reprint all 60 liquid lips, we started to change out the shade labels. So anything that was in a mystery box this year or last year, girl, it was good. Um, I've never sold expired makeup. Something may be a little more um, thick in consistency. That may be the shade, but girl, I ain't no one gonna try to come for me this morning. Uh, I'm coming for someone, that's my job. <laughs> um, but everything, Everything's being handled. You guys know I'm I'm good. I'm just I was a little shook. I was like, really? Like this is crazy. But um, makeup it's a hot commodity. People are doing really crazy and dangerous things to get it, to obtain it and to sell it. And bitch, I don't want to be a part of it. I know I am, so I'm handling it the best that I can. But um, okay. In other news, I'm gonna get my ass in the shower. We got to go to the office. We are finishing shipping Blue Blood, and we are getting ready for Friday's massive eyeshadow palette restock also friday or saturday you may finally get the drop of when the concealers and setting powders are gonna launch so oh oh what's that world oh my god that's right i just remembered oh my god only jeffree star cosmetics and morphe brushes has has jeffree star in, in the stores okay not burlington girl what the fuck Wow. Hello, everybody. Okay, it has been a long, crazy day. I'm finally on my phone. I have been uh, in a... <sighs> Today's been great. Me and Shane and Andrew were filming all day at the warehouse. We are working on... <sighs> There's so many things happening, you guys, behind the scenes. I am so excited. But um, I haven't been on my uh, phone all day. So just getting in here, and um, there's a little update on the... Burlington saga, the drama, if you haven't watched Girl earlier, um, catch up on the tea, but Burlington Coat Factory stores were illegally selling expired Jeffree Star Cosmetics Liquid Lips, girl. How and why, bitch? So I spoke the fuck up, and guess what, y'all? I got it. Now, in Jeffrey's Instagram story, he took a screenshot of Burlington's apology, and here's what they said. We are committed to selling only authentic, authorized, and legally sourced product in our stores. We appreciate this incident being brought to our attention, and we are swiftly investigating the matter. We have discontinued sales of these products and are immediately pulling remaining units from our stores. We are happy to partner with you and the authorities as you can continue to look into the situation. Now Jeffrey since took to Twitter and had responded by saying this. Thank you Burlington for reaching out and quickly addressing this issue. We will handle this behind the scenes and investigate. Don't try me again ho. Now everyone had recently appeared in court. Shane Dawson was looking gorgeous as ever. Burlington was looking sexy with his sexy haircut. Oh god someone find me Burlington's private snapchat. I want to have a word with him. Jeffrey Star sat there looking looking not impressed, and Twitter was looking like a dumb bitch. After the whole apology went down, Jeffree Star then took to his Instagram story again and responded. Listen, you guys, I will say this. It may be a little vague because they know what the fuck it is, but thank you for responding. There's been a lot of companies that just keep their mouth shut. They try to sweep things under the rug. I keep it cute behind the scenes, but I really appreciate them actually saying things on social media. They also tweeted me out the same response, so it's they're making everything public. Um, my lawyer will be reaching out to them about everything, right? It's like, how? Why? How did you even allow that to happen? So we will get answers, and I will update you guys. Um, 
But thank God that was handled quick. I'm like, girl, is this a joke? So everything should be pulled. Um, if y'all see any, girl, I'm not the one. I'm not the one. You got the wrong one, ho. Don't try me again. Okay, good morning, everybody. Hello. Um, shout out to Snapchat for giving me this filter. Um, hi, honey. I missed you. Um, <laughs> before I went to bed last night, the last thing I said was, don't try me, ho. And guess what? I still mean that. <laughs> um, it's been an interesting four weeks, y'all. I don't even know what to think anymore. I'm traumatized. Now in other news, James Chihuahua. A lot has happened this week. A lot of doggy treats are needed. James recently hit 16 million subscribers. And of course he barked all about it over on Instagram. He's very grateful. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, kill him. Hello? Oh! Oh! Ah! Oh my gosh, you guys. I wanted to quickly Snapchat because I was filming with Daddy Jeff this morning, which, by the way, the video will be up on Friday. I'm so excited for you guys to see this. Um, and I didn't even get to, like, celebrate the fact that we just hit 16 million sisters. It, oh, every time these milestones happen, it, like, truly continues to blow my mind every single time. Like, I cannot believe that we have gotten this far as a family. It, like, it just means so, so, so much. And if you guys have seen my Twitter or me about it on Snapchat a few times, I really haven't been having the best month. I've had a lot of things kind of happen over the past few weeks that have really gotten me down. Um, I'm trying my best to stay positive and to get back into the game and to just be inspired and be happy. But obviously, there's said than done. Um, and your guys' like, support and positivity and kind messages and liking videos and suggestions just like truly does make me so 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 happy and really it, it helps me out a lot it like really does mean a lot and i know that we grow fast and obviously i always say thank you because i'm always grateful but like right now the fact that we've like hit another milestone during all this for me it feels really cool and like it's not about the followers but the fact that we're still growing and people are still wanting to come and join um and support and say kind things and it, it it really does help out a lot in here, guys. I'm not kidding. Um, this is why I do what I do, is to make people happy and to put out really cool content and to um, just create dope shit. And I know that I've been a little bit off my game and I haven't been putting out the best stuff and I promise that I'm working on it and trying to get back into it. It's just really, really hard to do that. But you guys know that I'm never going to get up, give up and um, doing this does make me really, really happy. So... I love you guys. Thank you for being the absolute best subscribers and fan base that I could ever ask for in a million years. You guys fucking rock. You really, really do. James Chihuahua has also recently released some pastel sister merchandise and was getting a lot of angry tweets on Twitter because his merchandise sold out so fast. Here's what he had to say about that. Okay, you guys, I could literally cry right now, but I cannot because my makeup is like halfway done. But the collection is... Pretty much about to sell out completely. There's a few of the banana and creamsicle hoodies left, but everything else is gone in literally less than 30 minutes. Um, I was planning on you guys this later, but I'm getting a lot of angry tweets. So I may as well just let you know right now, this pastel collection is going to restock. We're working on a restock for the end of this month, but I'm not quite sure yet. Obviously you guys know I will keep you posted, but just know it is coming back. For um, this was supposed to be limited edition, but I did not think it was going to do this well. And as well, we are already talking to Shopify to see how we can increase our servers for future launches because you guys literally are like destroying them in the best way possible. I'm so grateful. Um, so yeah, thank you for always bearing with us and it will be back in stock. I absolutely promise you guys and I'll keep you posted very soon. Now lastly, Emma Chamberlain was allegedly being bullied over her spray tan that she had not washed off yet as it was still developing on her skin. This is what she had to say on her Snapchat. Everyone is saying that my tan is like crazy right now. I haven't showered yet, okay? It's developing on my skin. Relax. I'm, okay, I didn't know. Like, I showed up and I was like, do my tan. This is what they give me. What am I supposed to do about it? It's on my body. I can't change it. So just wait for me to shower. Then I'm going to look great. So stop fucking bullying me. I'm sick of it. <laughs> also, you know what? It's not even that crazy. It's 
Be bad. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on all this drama. That's all for this investigation. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. My social media will be linked down below and I'll see you guys in our next investigation. Yeah.